It's time now for Better Health. I'm joined here with Asante's health expert, Beth Coker, and urologic oncologist, Dr. Amy Lim. And today we're talking about prostate cancer. Dr. Lim, we know that prostate cancer is the leading cause of death for men in the United States. What are some of the signs and symptoms of prostate cancer in men? You know, oftentimes there are actually no symptoms of prostate cancer. In more advanced cases, you can have symptoms such as difficulty urinating, having blood in the semen or urine, weight loss or bone pain, but these are really nonspecific symptoms. And if you have any of these, you should see your primary care doctor and see if you should be referred to see a urologist at that time. Are there risk factors that are associated with developing prostate cancer? That's a great question. You know, age is one of the biggest risk factors. While prostate cancer is very rarely diagnosed in patients under the age of 40, as you get older, 50 and above, your risk of prostate cancer increases. In fact, a, common, a commonly reported statistic that we like to quote patients is that about 60% of 60 year olds have prostate cancer and that only increases as you get older. Another risk factor would be family history. So if you have a first degree relative, like a father or a brother that has prostate cancer, that actually doubles your risk of developing prostate cancer. And then finally, there's some genetic mutations, um, some that are more common than others that causes prostate cancer. For example, the BRCA1 and 2 mutations that are known to cause breast and ovarian cancer can also increase your risk of prostate cancer. Are there screening tests available to detect prostate cancer in your patients? There are screening tests available. So we often do a blood test looking for something called a PSA, and that stands for prostate specific antigen. And then when that number is elevated, sometimes that can mean prostate cancer, but it can mean a lot of other things as well. But that will often trigger your primary care provider to make a referral to see a urologic oncologist or a urologist. Another screening technique that we do is through digital rectal exams. So your primary care provider will take a feel of the prostate and if they feel anything abnormal like a nodule or any firmness or asymmetry, that can also mean prostate cancer. And then there are treatments available for these patients. There are, fortunately there are, yes. So depending on what stage of the disease you have, you can be treated either with surgery or radiation. And then if you have more advanced stages, there's chemotherapy and other systemic forms of treatment. And I also wanna emphasize that not everyone that's diagnosed with prostate cancer actually needs treatment. So if you have a very low grade prostate cancer, we'll counsel you about whether or not you actually need to pursue one of these forms of treatment. And sometimes we just watch you. Terrific education, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, we'll be right back.